Whether we are there or not, ITSP Magazine still gets the best stories. Plenty of conferences and events spark our curiosity and allow us to start conversations with some of the world's brightest minds. In person or virtually, Sean Martin and Marco Cipelli go on location and sit down with them at the intersection of technology, cybersecurity, and society. Together, we discover what the synergy of these three elements means for the future of humanity. All right, here we are. We are at AU CyberCon, Australia CyberCon, hosted by ASA. Yep. I'm here with Jade Wilkie. How are you, Jade? Good, good. How are you? Very good. It's a busy morning. We, we can hear people roaming around. You're having some good conversations here at the uh, Threat Locker booth. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how's it going? It's been going good. It's um, our second year, I believe, here at the CyberCon. Our EMEA team actually came last year, so this is our first year with the APAC team here, and it's been really good current clients, new clients, but just having some really good conversations. Um, obviously more enterprise focus at this event, so getting our name out there right. across more companies. And not just Australia, but the, the broader APAC region, right? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, what's your role at Threat Locker? So I'm currently an account executive across the APAC team, but I will be moving into a bit more of a leadership role in December, taking care of the sales team within region, all about really making sure they have that support here so we can keep growing. Um, the Australian region quickly grew to be one of our second biggest markets for Threat Locker, so we definitely need some support here on ground. Support the team so they can support the customer. Exactly right. I love it, I love it. So what, um, for those that, we had a great chat with Danny, your, co yep. your, uh, your CEO. So hopefully people can listen to that uh, episode to get a, a nice overview of the founding of the company. But for folks listening to this for the first time, Give me the, the elevator pitch for what Threat Locker does. So here at Threat Locker, we really focus in on a default deny approach. That zero trust mentality, I guess we want to get across the line. Traditionally, we've really prioritized in the cybersecurity space our detection and response, which is still super important, but we want to take a default deny approach first to make sure we're stopping anything that doesn't need to happen in an environment so that when it comes to the detecting and responding, there isn't all this noise in the background either. So really focusing in there. In Australia, we have a really good fit within that in the Essential 8. So when we've come over mm. here, we fit really well. Naturally, it was never intended to be that way, I guess. Danny just wanted to build out a strong cyber security structure, which focused in on zero trust, um, which just aligns really well with the Essential 8 and our allow listing focuses, even moving into your storage control, your network control. It's all about making sure we have them walls up and we can prevent someone from being able to get in in the first place. Right. So I would imagine people here in Australia know what Essential 8 is. Yeah. Um, are you able to maybe kind of give the a brief overview of what that is for maybe folks that aren't familiar with it yet, which yep. should be, but maybe kind of for those outside of Australia, kind of paint that picture because there are other definitely. other things similar in other regions. That, that yeah, apply, definitely. Right? And there's still some other frameworks that we look at in Australia, but I guess the idea behind the Essential 8, which from my understanding, why it was kind of brought to light is there's so many different frameworks out there we can go across and kind of focus out, but they're very time consuming, very lengthy, and just to give us an idea of a pinpointed process that companies can look at and they can say, if I want a strong security structure, let me try to focus in on these eight portions, application control, application hardening, it goes into controlling backups, controlling patching, and it really gives you a good foundation for cybersecurity. And I think that's the most important part, I think, in previous years, it gets, it gets lost a bit when you're looking at cybersecurity structure and what you want to implement in a company, whereas in Australia we really want to have something standardised that is easy to follow and a lot easier for companies to implement as well. Nice. So here at, at AU CyberCon, um, obviously in your booth, um, I presume you're going to have a lot of conversations around Essential yeah. 8, but what, what are you hoping to share with folks as they come and talk to you and the rest of the team here? I think it's a lot about just getting Threat Locker out there. Obviously, yes, we grew quite quickly in Australia, but there's still some people that aren't as across who we are. Um, and also getting across that we are more than just application control as well, um, so that we can share insight into our other modules and what else we can help with. We now have EDR, MDR as well. We have a big focus on network control and making sure we're controlling what is happening within your network environment. 
um, as well. So we really want to make sure we're getting across our other priorities um, and not just one particular focus. Right. The full stack. It's really the cool. The full stack. I yep. love it. I love it. So we're going to have a chat after the event. Yep. We're close to the end of the event anyway, where I hope to have some conversations around what you heard, what were some of the top uh, themes and concerns organizations have and how you're helping them address those things. Yeah. Um, maybe a final call to action for folks here. Uh, yeah, definitely. Come down by the booth and really have a chat to us. So we've got the team here and they can really help you get a bit more of an understanding of what we can help with within your technology stack. Um, how we can really help you have a strong security structure. We do things quite differently here at Threat Locker. We've made application control in particular quite easy for you. So it's really something we want to start showing people how we can do it and how we might do it a bit differently as well. And you're right at the front entrance. Right you at the entrance. Miss, you can't, you can't miss, miss us at all. So we're yeah. right here. Hopefully everybody stops by and says hello to Jay and the rest of the team. And just a little teaser for those outside of Australia, we're going to see you in Orlando. Yep. for Zero Trust World. Yep. So uh, you have your conference there, so we'll, we'll see everybody outside of AU uh, there for that conference. Jade, pleasure chatting with you. Lovely chatting with you, and okay. I look forward to chatting again after the event. Absolutely. We'll see everybody in a couple days. And uh, in the meantime, come see Jade and the rest of the Threat Locker team. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Sean and Marco's On Location event coverage conversations. Please take a moment to give the show a good rating and leave a comment. Remember to share this podcast with your friends, family, and colleagues. Come back for more conversations and follow Sean Martin and Marco Cipelli as they continue their journey toward redefining cybersecurity and society.